it is, gang. The most fun, best ever summer community in the world. Welcome to Shoreville Beach. A shore town for sure. You haven't even seen the best part. Uncle Bebo's chicken cluck batter. You have an uncle? Nah, that's just the name of the guy who owns the place. It's always packed and has long lines, but it's worth it. We'll just see about that. No, it's true, at least according to this pamphlet. What? Gee, kind of looks like Uncle Bebo's chicken cluck banner is closed down now. That's absolutely true, little Teresa's. Business is so slow, I have to close the cluck banner. But you're slammed every summer. Usual leader. But this summer, the crowds have other ideas. Seems they're not interested in my chicken dishes smeared with non-fat garlic butter. This summer, the crowds want bignicity. Bignicity? You know, they're only interested in the largest, the biggest. Like Hank Hound's huge hush pups. And Crab Nebula with the boardwalk's biggest blue crabs. Even Squelchy Steve's tentacle truck has a giant squid. If only I had something big to draw in the customers. <laughs> Let's go to one of those places. See? People only care about big deals. All I have is regular-sized, super delicious fried chicken. Let's all eat there. Wait, did you see that? Yeah, a giant squid ate my lunch. No, people in Shoreville aren't all about big food. They're about big spectacles. Big spectacles? Like bifocals? Very funny, Von Bolt. Like a big show to bring in customers. But it's not like we can just create a ginormous ride that attracts crowds and then sell them chicken while they wait in line. Wait, are you sure we can't? Because I want to do that. I'm feeling the vibe. Let's do it. I was thinking a mega slide with dips, twists, and jumps. I'm starting to think that this may be a Von Volt project. And I thought you would never ask. Yeah! Wow! Righteous! This slide ride is sure to give me the cred I need to stay open. I want to go first! Not to be raining on parades. But perhaps I should go first. After all, I am your trusty lab assistant. Okay, but I get to go second. Ready, Von Bolt? Safety first. Count me down. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ridiculous! All this failure is making me hungry. I hear you. Have a drumstick. Mm. Mm. So good! Man, why isn't this slide working? Too much friction? Great! So we're really stuck! Maybe not. Uncle Bebo, how much non-fat garlic butter do you have? Oh, a couple of hundred gallons. Then I know how we're going to ride that slide. Let her rip, Kent. Oh, so slippery. Woo! Shark! Shark! A shark? 
that's not good. Hang on, Von Bolt! We have to save him. How are we supposed to do that? The Von Bolt remote app. Huh? My remote safety activation unit. Ah! Was I a success? Are the tourists flocking to Clockbarna? Not exactly. Oh, man. We were so close. If it wasn't for that shark, business would be booming right now. Ultimate negative vibes. Oh, no, Uncle Bebo. Not ultimate negative vibes. Just temporary delayed positive vibes. We'll get the shark to swim somewhere else. <laughs> How are we supposed to do that? For all we know, this is where the shark lives. It's its home. Shoreville has never had a shark problem before. And if the waters here stay the same every year, there has to be a scientific reason why the shark is here now. Let's use the portable Alva and see if we can figure it out. Greetings, my young geniuses. Hi, Hi Mr. Edison. A lovely day at the beach, isn't it? No, it's absolutely horrible. See that shark out there? <laughs> it's scaring away all of Uncle Bebo's customers. Hmm. Why do you think he'd be doing that? Why do sharks do anything? JD's exactly right. He is? If we know the shark's motives, we might be able to get him to leave. Von Bolt, please do the honors. Von Bolt, can we get out with this, please? Elvis database shows that sharks cover thousands of miles a year hunting for food. And, uh, just how do they find their food? It looks like they smell for it. <laughs> you can't smell in water. <laughs> Wrong again, JD. Time to get an even closer look. Looks like sharks pull water into their nasal sacs over a series of skin folds. And then blow it all out. The Shoreville shark must have smelled the garlic butter we sprayed on the slide. <laughs> <laughs> Great Neptune's nephews. What are you kids doing in my net? We're studying sharks. Why are you netting kids? I was simply trying to catch a little lunch for my feathered friends and I. Welcome aboard the HMS Beagle. I'm Charles Darwin. <laughs> Good question, Fred. Why are you interested in sharks? We think that a shark is hunting at Uncle Bebo's Cluckbana because he smelled something he likes. Impossible. How could a shark smell a little garlic butter way out in the ocean? Sharks are wonderful hunters. If you can't see your prey far away, next best thing is to smell it. Didn't you know that sharks can smell one part blood for every million parts of water? And we squirted way more garlic butter than that onto Uncle Bebo's slide. That's why the shark is behaving like he is. Thanks, Mr. Darwin. You're going to catch the shark? But how? The same way Darwin caught us. We're going fishing. <laughs> <laughs> get it away, get it away, get it away! Oh, <laughs> 
I do believe he enjoyed the ride. Too bad that doesn't get me customers. Oh, yeah. This is oh, yeah. 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 Look at this! Entertainment! <laughs> See that? A shark rode a slide! For chicken, it must be delicious! Attention, Shoreville patrons! Huh? Are you sick and tired of the same old boring bignicity? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. Then come to Uncle Bebo's Chicken Club Fada, home of tasty chicken. Plus, a shark that rides a giant slide! Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, what do you think of Shoreville? It's spectacular! And your Uncle Bebo's chicken cluck banana is the best part! Hey, that's mine! <laughs> <laughs>